Hello everyone, this video is going to demonstrate the process of fixed point iteration to numerically solve an equation. The uh, function that I'm going to use as an example is this one here, cosine x minus x multiplied by e to the power x. And I'm going to find the zero of this equation, so I'm solving where f of x equals nothing. The process involves uh, rearranging this equation to isolate x. Now there's probably many more than one way to do this. The way I've chosen to do this is to uh, transpose the negative x times e to the x, then divide through by e to the x. So I have the expression x equals cos x over e to the x. Notice the subscripts. Uh, if I have a, an estimate for x, which I'll call the, um, estimate n, then the new estimate, the next one, would be calculated by this expression. This is why it's called fixed point. We only need a single estimate for x to generate a new value. Not like the bisection method, where we needed two points. Uh, so I've set up some uh, headings here for n, the number of iterations. Start with zero, which is my initial guess. And if you recall from the previous video, we thought that the, uh, the zero for this function existed close to 0.5. So I'll put 0.5 as my initial guess. Now, uh, the number of iterations is really just there for keeping track of how quickly this thing converges. The, uh, the algorithm is quite simple. We use Excel to express this formula where we're referring to the value here, 0.5, as xn, the previous estimate. As always, start with an equal sign. Cosine of the previous estimate divided by e to the power of the previous estimate. Remember in Excel we type exp as e raised to the power, in this case power 0.5. So that gives me a new estimate of 0.53. Now, as I copy that down, because I used uh, relative cell references, this one referred to B3, the cell just above. As I copied down, this one refers to cell B4, which is exactly what I want, the previous one, because it's the cell just above. So as I can see, these things uh, are getting closer and closer and closer to, well, we've got uh, 0 0.51 is consistent, still bouncing around between 7 and 8 here. So that's after 17 iterations. Uh, if I make the list a bit longer, after 65 iterations, we can see that we've got a value here that's consistent to uh, 517757. So six decimal places, it's consistent there for quite some time after 60 iterations. 60 iterations would be an awful lot to do if you were doing it, this calculation manually, but of course for a computer that's really nothing, as you saw. As a little visual demonstration, there is a quick chart of this is my estimate for x versus n, the number of iterations, and as you can see it does bounce around a fair bit to start with, and then it converges fairly quickly. It's really after about 30 iterations and depends on how many decimal points you need. So that's fixed point iteration. It really is as easy as that. And uh, the only thing I suppose you need to make a decision about is how you rearrange the equation you've been given. Sometimes there'll be more than one way to rearrange for x. And in that case, you'll find uh, some converge faster, some converge slower, and perhaps some don't even converge at all. So if it doesn't seem to work the first time, go back and rearrange your formula in a different way and try again. That's it for now. The next video is going to be about Newton's method.